So the thing with a collar tie is that it gives you the inside elbow position relative to their shoulder. So if the guy tries to shoot forward into a half guard or body lock pass, for example, your inside elbow relative to his shoulder will keep you safe from him closing distance on you too much. Um, and in addition, it gives you the ability to play a game where you start pulling the head down. If they posture up and away from you, then the legs become available. And if, for example, they don't do anything and they allow you to snap the head, then you just snap to a front headlock or a guillotine and you start working from there. Um, so you play a basic dilemma between the upper body and the lower body. If you snap the head down and there's no resistance, you just snap the head down. You just play a front headlock game from a seated guard or you come up or whatever you want. Um, and then, for example, if they go to pull away, they start clearing grips. It either gives you two-on-ones because as they go to clear the grip, they know you know they have to clear the collar tie hand. So you just take a two-on-one and you use that two-off balance over the shoulders. Um, or if they go to posture up far and away, then you can scoop the legs and start going into entrances down down bottom down, uh, down below